I have my water bottle underneath the chair. I have a set of hand weights. Those are always optional. You don't have to use them if you don't want. Feet are flat on the floor. Take a little peek, toes straight ahead. Here's a little press of the feet down so your knees go forward, your legs go forward. Drop your arms, take a shoulder roll. Roll your shoulders up, back, and down. One more time. <clears throat> Here's your inhale, reach out, big inhale. Exhale, blow it out. We do that two more times, reach up, big inhale. Exhale, blow it out. One more time, here's your up. Let your hands relax on your lap. Turn your head to the right, stretch your neck. Just gentle, we are warming up. Turn your head to the left. We'll do that one more time. Look to the right. Look to the left. Look straight ahead, drop your chin to your chest. Lift your chin to the ceiling just a little. Look straight ahead, open your arms to the side, lift your chest, take your inhale. Hug a big ball as you exhale. Do that again. Open your arms. Inhale. Hug a ball. Exhale. Two more times. Open. Hug. One more time. Here's your open. And your hug. Drop your arms to the side. Fold your arms up. Gentle twist to the right. Fingertips go up. Gentle twist to the left. Fingertips go up. Hands come behind your head. Press your head back. Level out your chin. Add a little twist to the right. Little twist to the left. Do that one more time on each side. Twist to the right. Twist to the left. Face front, squeeze your elbows to the front. Open your elbows to the side. Two more times, squeeze to the front. Open to the side. One more time, squeeze. Open, slide your fingertips to your shoulders, elbow circles up and around. Full arm circles here, drop the arms down, take them all the way up and around. Engage the core, two more circles here. One more time, hands will come to your lap. It is cow cat. Lift your chest, chin goes up. Drop the chin, pull the belly in, push the spine back. Reverse it, lift up. Chin can go up, round through your spine. Two more, inhale as you lift up. Exhale as you round. One more time, it's your up, it's your down. Sit up tall, cross your arms in front, lean to the front. Engage your core, sit tall, lean back. I'm tucking in a little bit of core, wake up here. Sit tall, lean to the front. And now we lean to the back. We do this again. It's a lean to the front. Lean to the back. We'll do this one more time. Lean front. Lean back. Sit tall. Hands are on your thighs. Feet can open up a little wider. Circle. Torso circles here. Reach through the top of your head. Get long. Take it around. Take it around. Change direction, take it around in the other direction. This should feel good. 
finish this circle, bring yourself to the center. We'll hug our right knee in, give yourself a hug, big or small. You know, you can always keep it smaller if that feels better. Drop the leg, take it to the other side. Here's your up. Set it down, switch legs. Here's your hug. And switch, hug. Foot goes down, ankle circles here. Ankle around in one direction. Ankle around in the other direction. Set the foot down. Here's the other side, ankle circle. And now the other direction. Set the foot down. Here comes your hip circles. You're gonna circle out, slide in, switch legs. Now we're focused on getting the mobility through the hip. It could be big or small. Now remember, all of us have a different structure for our hip joint. So how big or how small the circle is often depends on that hip joint. We reverse this, you will slide out, circle in. There's your slide and circle, slide, circle. We try to keep the ankle under the knee as you make that slide and circle. Let's do one more on each side. Finish that one, you'll slide your feet out in front of you. Arms will go out, toes up. Here comes your push and pull. Push to the front and then you pull back. Push and pull. Now use that little more warm up for your shins, your calves, but also your chest and your back. Let's do one more. Slide your feet in. Here comes a stretch of your fingers and the lift of your toes. Make a fist, lift your heels. Lift your toes, stretch your fingers. Make a fist, lift your heels. We're gonna do this a few more times. Here comes your last one. You can keep your feet down. Take some wrist circles around in one direction. Take it around in the other direction. We are going to write it, we're going to squat in our chair. I want you to stay seated. We'll do other versions in a little bit. Feet are gonna stay down. You're gonna push your feet down. So now we're going into our strengthening for our lower body. It's your chair squat, feet down, press straight down. Feel your thighs work. Feel free to engage your core, but the upper body is relaxed yet. Push down, push down, push down. Relax that right here and do that one more time. Here comes your push down, push down. So we're activating the legs right here. It's an isometric move. You're pushing down. Think more of pushing through the heel, the ball of the foot so you can get really strong in your legs. Finish that one. Let it relax. We're going to do our out, out, in, in. It's your out, out, in, in. Now you pick the how big you want your arms to go. Maybe they go up really high. Maybe you keep them up lower. It is really where it feels good for your arms today. Out, out, in, in. Two more. And this time, keep your feet in. Punch your arms across. We're gonna take a little punch across and punch across. Think a little twist. Can you engage your core and have the core help you as you punch across, punch across? There's four, three. We punch to the front right here. You can take a little punch to the front. Again, I still have a little bit of a twist as you add the punch. Return punch across here for four, three, Two, double here, double punch. Punch twice on one side, punch twice on the other. Here's your double punch and double punch. We'll do that one more time on each side. And now we go back to your out, out, in, in, but start with the left leg. You're gonna go left, right. So I want you to start with left leg. 
changes it up a little bit. Sometimes we have to use the brain differently when we start with the other leg. We all have a favorite leg. It's not always as smooth when we start with our opposite leg. Now finish this one, march right in the center. You're gonna pick the version of the march you want. Remember, you can keep it here. You can take it here. Here comes your biceps. Chance to move your elbow joint, open and close the elbow joint. Arms will go to the front. It's your front raise here. Let's tap our foot to the front as you take the arms up. Arms are going to the side, keep the heel going front. You're going to keep that tap front, arms to the side. Arms stay to the side, but now you tap your toe back, little back and back. Overhead press, keep the feet going. And remember, these are always options. You can choose a different version if you like it better. Four more for four, three, Two, bring your arms down, stop your feet, take a big shoulder roll, bring your shoulders up back and down. One more time, it is a shoulder shrug here, meaning you're gonna slide your shoulder blades up, have your palms face front, squeeze your shoulder blades together, slide them down. You slide the shoulder blades up, squeeze them together, slide down, up, squeeze, release one more time. There is your last one. Shake it out. Now I'm going to have you grab a sip of water. This is where we're going to do chair squats again. I'm giving you the option if you want to stand with each chair squat. We'll do three. So if you choose to stay standing, you can stay in your, or choose to stay sitting, you can stay in your chair. So I'm going to be going up and down. You pick if you want to stay down or if you want to join me. So here's the push into your feet. Bring yourself up. And then you're going to control it as you bring it down. Do it again. Push. Bring yourself up. And then you bring yourself down. Do that one more time. Up. And down. You can stay down. And we will all take it to resisting as we try to open our legs. Hands outside the thigh. Resist, resist, resist. Use your outer hip, outer thigh. Hold it here for four, three, two. Relax it. Shake it out. Bring yourself to standing. We are going to start with our standing exercises. First move, I'm going to have you do are some hip circles. Heels on your hips. Take the hips around. I like to add this in. It's a nice little release if you are getting tense in your low back, your hips. Change direction, take it around in the other direction. We are going to take this right into, I call it a good morning. We cross the arms in front. Heels are still under your hips and here comes that little hinge. You think about pushing your bum into the wall behind you and then you bring it back up. This exercise is great for our hamstrings and our glutes, but what we have to work on is engaging the core to support our low back. Yes, our low back is part of the exercise, but it is not the main muscle that we're using. Try to use your legs and your glutes, which are your butt muscles, to get yourself down and up. Take one more here, one more time. Keep yourself upright. And just like we did in the chair, we're gonna go out, out, in, in with our feet. You're gonna go out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. You can even use the arms, have them follow as you go out, out, in, in. Out, out, in, in. Well, four more times here, four. Feel free to hold on to the chair. Stand behind your chair if you'd like. One more time, heels stop underneath your hips. We come back to these good mornings. Cross the arms in front, press the hips back, and bring yourself up. 
It's a hinge. A hinge is such an important movement. It is so that we protect our low back and you use our glutes, our butt muscles, our very large, strong muscles. We want to work on using those. They get a little lazy if we sit down a lot. We're going to do one more. You're going to bring yourself down and up. Again, we're going to go to the out, out, in, in. If you want to go behind your chair, go for it. Start with the left leg. Left, right, left, right. And I added the arms in. If you choose, you don't have to. Feel free to stand behind your chair. Hold on to your chair if you'd like. There's your out, out, and out, out. We'll do one more, and now we're marching, march. If you want to make your march more challenging, lift your knees up higher. Otherwise, you can keep them a little bit lower. Pump your arms, but feel free to use your chair if you'd like. We're taking this on our toes. You're going to lift your heels. I know this isn't for everybody. If it bothers your feet, you can stay in your march with your feet flat. Heels go down. Here comes that march on your heels. Lift your knees. Squeeze the butt. Return to your regular march. Feet are flat. Bring yourself far enough behind your chair. It's your step touch side to side. You're going to step to one side. Step to the other. I am going to step up and over, adding in a little more balance. Your chair is here. Or you could press up and bring it down. Press up and bring it down. There's your up and down. Up and down. Four more. Four. Three. To finish this, here comes your knee hold. Here comes where we balance. We're not going to be moving. Chair is going to be here if you want it. I never know how balance is going to be every day. Start maybe toes down, and then when you're ready, <laughs> you can lift the leg, depending how it feels. Now, like I said, some days it just works better to keep the toes down and relax that one here comes the other side as i said start with the toes down and then kind of lift up see how it goes and three two we're going to take the heel behind us this time ground down through the foot maybe the toes are down Maybe it lifts up and there's the hold. Almost there in five, four, three, two. Foot goes down. Here comes the other side. Set it down. Then when you're ready, there is your hold. Stay tall. Five, four, three, two. Foot goes down. Take those hip circles again. Shake it out. Just a little chance. Get the movement all the way through the body. Switch directions. We are going to practice our tightrope. Today I'm going to do the tightrope walking forward and walking back. If you have a wall that you want to use as you do this, you can hold on to the wall or a backside, I am going to walk towards you today. And then when you're ready, it's heel toe as you walk. Now, if you go too fast, you're gonna miss out on part of the balancing fun. So think heel toe, take your time. You could also take your feet out each time you step a little bit wider. There's your back and back. Now use your space. I'm gonna have us stay here just a little bit longer so you have time to take 
a few more steps and work on your balance today. See how it's doing. Like I said, every day is different. It can be a surprise. And I'll give you all time to finish up. We'll all meet behind our chair when you're ready. Feet are gonna go out a little bit wider. I always like to add in our side lunges. Feel free to use your chair, take your hands to your hips. I like that it takes us into this side to side movement. It stretches your inner thigh. It strengthens your hips. We want to be careful when it comes to our knee joints. I'm not moving, my knees are moving, but right here I'm using my thigh and my hip, not my knee joint for the movement to go side to side. Slide to one side. We'll do four, three, one more time, we'll meet in the center. I'm gonna have you take a couple plies and today we're gonna open up the arms on the way down and then bring them back down. Now, if you wanna hold on to your chair with one hand and alternate arms, go for it. It's a slide down, arms go up and then you slide back up. Four more of these. Here's your four. Three, two, one more time. Then we can stay up. Keep yourself up right here. Take your toes to the front. We're stretching. It makes a difference. I want you to always think about your knees going in the same direction as your toes. That gives you a little better alignment. Start bringing yourself up. You can bring your heels in underneath your hips. We are gonna go into heel raises. So I don't know if you can see my feet or not. I'm gonna lift up to my toes. Fingertips are soft on the chair. Heels are up, paws at the top. And then you bring the heels back down. Now we try to work on taking our hands away from the chair. But again, it's a balance move. So you might hold on to the chair. Right here, you're gonna roll through the big toe. If you're used to rolling to the outside of the foot, it's gonna feel weird when you do that. But in the long run, it's gonna help you with your balance. You're gonna to learn to balance a little bit better on the ball of the foot because you get to use the whole thing. So each time you lift up, roll through the big toe, pause at the top, and bring it back down. Do that one more time. Here comes that lift up, pause at the top. Keep the heels down, take a big inhale, turn your head to the right. Exhale, look up front, arms come down. Inhale, look left, arms up. Exhale, look to the front. Do that again. Inhale, look to the right. Exhale, front. Here's your inhale, look left. We'll do that one more time. Add the heel lift if you want it. As you inhale, look, heels come up. And then the heels go down. Do you take it to the other side? Here we go. Heels up, take a look. Bring yourself to your toes. Bring yourself down. Take a double step touch to the side. Two step touches to one side, two to the other side. I'm adding a step cross. That is totally up to you. If you want to step cross, go for it. Step cross, step and tap. Step cross, step and tap. A couple more. Finish this one, meet next to your chair, add a little leg swing. Now this is a chance, one, you can balance if you wanna take your hands away. Two though, I want you to just really think about loosening up the hip. Relax this side, take it to the other side. There's that swing, swing, swing. And 
and then relax. So like here, shake it up. We are gonna take it down to the chair. You're going to grab a sip of water when you get there. We are going to go right into some upper body strengthening. First move will be our row, one weight in each hand. Remember, those are always optional. You don't have to use them. If you're choosing to use weights, you're gonna slide a little bit further forward on your chair. You're gonna have one weight in each hand. Arms are by your side. Lean forward, reach through the top of your head, feet flat, and then elbows pull back. Now I'm doing a total of 20 today, weights or no weights. Think of that form, pulling the elbows back, lower down, pull up, lower down, Feet are flat. You could even press your feet into the floor a little bit. That's going to help you engage your core. Keep yourself centered. Look towards the floor, and that is just for your neck. It feels better if you're in the same line from the top of your head to your tailbone. Halfway there. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring yourself up. Bicep curls are here. Palms are going to face the front, and you're going to take your curl up and slow it down. Curl up. Slow it down. There's your up and down, up and down. Lift and lower. Five more like this. There's five, four, three, two, hammer curls. Now the palms are gonna face in. We're doing 10 more, but now you're leading with your thumb. There's your up and down. Feet are still flat on the floor. Take a little peek. Knees are tracking in the same direction as your toes. Sometimes our knees fall in. Let's see if we can keep them in line. Five, four, three, Two. Now the next move is when we press our arms back, you're going to take your palms, have them face back, arms are straight, little lean forward, and you can do a little lift and lower, lift and lower, up and down, up and down. Five more. Here's five, four, Three, two, relax it here. And now we're gonna go into a reverse fly. I'm gonna have you lean forward. We're gonna do one arm at a time. So I'm gonna set my left weight on my thigh just so I can focus on my right arm. Shoulder back and down, keep it there, and then lift and lower. Well, 10 on this side. We're doing one at a time so you can really focus. Arm can stay lower. Maybe you want to keep it smaller. Maybe you skip the weight. It just depends how it feels. Shoulder needs to be back and down. It feels better for the whole shoulder girdle when you have your shoulder blade down your back. You have two to go. There's one. Relax this side. We're going to take it to the other side. So here we go. Kind of think shoulder blade back and down. Take the roll down. Keep it there. Lift and lower. One reason I like to toss in one, doing one at a time now and then, is because it gives you an idea. One, your stronger side, right? And when we use two weights, sometimes we can. Kind of use a little bit more momentum. This one we have more control as you lift and lower. 
two to go on this side. Now you're going to bring yourself all the way up and you're gonna go into overhead presses. I am gonna have my palms face front and press. You might have your palms face in. You might go this way because it feels better. I also like to go a little bit in front of me versus straight overhead because that also feels better for my shoulders. Five to go. Five. Four. Three. Two. Shoulder shrugs are next. Bring your weights down carefully. They're right by your side. Now, when I hold the weights and I do shoulder shrugs, I keep my palms in. You slide up, you slide down. Think about the shoulder blades on the back side moving up and down rather than just the shoulders up to the neck. Think shoulder blades. And part of that is keeping mobility in the upper back in your shoulder girdle area. We'll do this three more. There's three, it's two, one more time. Right here, take one weight, set it underneath the chair. If you're using weights, we're gonna set one down. I am gonna have you do tricep extensions overhead today. If that doesn't work, feel free to do the press, press back or a little kick back. But if you can bring your arm up, and we're going to do our little overhead press. Total of 10. I just want to give you an idea of how many we're doing so you know the count. There is your up and down. And again, respect your shoulders. If this exercise is not appropriate for you, then you would do a different version for your tricep. We have three to go on this side. And what we do on one side doesn't always work on the other. You have one more to go here. And then when you finish that, bring the weight down and you're gonna take it to the other side. And like I said, if overhead doesn't work, you can do your little press back. You could do a little kick back. Otherwise, if you're with me, you're gonna take the arm up and there's the bend and the lift, bend and lift. There's your down and up, down, and up. So we're really focused on the back of the upper arm. Five, four, three, two, one more time. Bring the weight down, hold the weight in both your hands, and we're going to take circle around. As you do this, it is using your shoulders. I want you to think about engaging your core. As you take it around, use your shoulders, use your core. Circle can be big or small. We'll do one more in this direction. And now take it in the other direction. Circle it around. Circle it around. Circle, three, two, one more time, and then you can go ahead. Take the hand, the weight in your right hand if you're using it. We're going to stretch out by using the weight, add little circles. If you don't have the weight, I always call this rag doll. You relax everything to your fingertips. Change direction. It's a great chance, stretch your neck, your shoulders, all the way down the arm. Switching sides, weight is going in the other hand. Relax the arm down, take your circle. Now let everything relax all the way down. Change direction. Set the weight down here. Grab one more sip of water. We're going to start stretching. I am going to tuck in core one more time. I call it core. I call it a balance move. Our feet are out a little wider. We're going to do our lean. 
I like to take my arms up a little higher. Feel free to keep yours lower. So we would lean over. First, I want you to feel your core working. And then the heel would go up. Leg would go up. I tend to take my arms a little higher, but if you want to keep them down, go for it. Set the foot down and take it over to the other side. Right here, you should already feel your core work. When you lift the heel, you should feel more core. Light goes up. There's your effort. Hold it. Set it down. Do it again. It doesn't have to be big. Heel. Leg. Hold it. Foot goes down. Here comes the other side. Over. Heel. Leg. Foot goes down. Bring it to the center and go right into goal post arms. Add a little upper back twist. So I usually take it slower. I like to call this more of a little flow. Big breath. Exhale, soften the upper back. Now I'm not moving my hips. This is really mobility for the upper back. And now you're going to take your arms out to the side. Take your thumbs down. Little press back here. See if you can get a little stretch for your biceps. Keep reaching, reaching to your chair. And here's a lift of the chin, stretch, open up the front. If your shoulders are tight, if your chest is tight, this is a chance to open up the front side. Look straight ahead, bring your hands to your thighs, lean all the way forward. Now I'm gonna have you reverse it. Reach, think of that string pulling through the top of your head. Go forward, reach, reach, and then wherever it feels good. Maybe you stay up high today. Maybe you go lower. Give yourself a nice stretch down your back. And maybe you can get a stretch all the way from the tailbone up between your shoulder blades to the top of your head. With an inhale, bring yourself up. Bring your left forearm to your left thigh. Let's slide the right leg out today. So I usually start with the arm up. Feel the stretch with the leg, and then you can sweep the arm up and over and get your stretch here. Let's reverse it. Take the hand to the back leg, sweep the left arm up, little different stretch. Bring the arm down, slide your right leg in. We'll do this on the other side, you're on your forearm. Leg is going out first, you walk it out, check it out, see how it feels to stretch. Then you can sweep the arm around. This is about length. Can you get a little longer, stretch your back. Reverse it, take the hand to your back leg. Front arm goes up. Bring the arm down, slide the leg in. Right leg goes out to the front. It's your hamstring stretch here. Lean forward. Toes up to start. And now you drop the bottom of the foot down. Bring yourself up, slide the right leg in, take the left leg out, lean forward. Bring yourself all the way up right here. You can slide the leg in. Here comes your quadricep stretch. We're gonna slide off the front or the side of the chair. Little press back, front foot is down. Here's that chance to look at your knee and see, did it fall out? Is it falling in? The knee follows your toes, and then you add your reach up. Drop the arm down, switch sides. I'm gonna just switch, shift over, there's a front leg is set up, back leg is set up, and there's your stretch. Mm -hmm. 
relax the arm down, come back to the front, slide both your feet out in front of you. Here's one more little hamstring stretch. Sit up tall, take a figure four, and then your figure four could be eagles next to each other. It could be low. You might keep it below the knee. Feel free to make it bigger. I'm gonna go somewhere in between. Bring it up, switch sides. There's your ego, wherever it works. Here's the stretch. Bring yourself all the way up. You can set your feet down. If you're further forward on your chair, feel free to scoop back. Open your arms to the side. Take the right arm across the front. Relax the elbow down. Give yourself a stretch through your tricep, the upper back shoulder area. We did our reverse flies. Open. Here comes the other side. Now do this again on the other side. Take the arm across. And this time reach towards your shoulder. Maybe you can lift it up, add a little bigger stretch. Maybe you add a little twist with it. Kind of play around, see what feels good for you. Relax that side. So maybe you keep it here. That works perfect. Maybe you reach your shoulder, lift the elbow. Maybe you add a little turn. These are all variations. You're going to pick what works for you. Arms open up to the side, fingertips go up. Drop the right hand down so you can stretch your tricep. We did our tricep extensions overhead. Fingertips go up and now you drop the left. Fingertips go up, palms come together, slide your palms down to your chest, Push your palms together so you can stretch your wrists, your forearms. It's a wrist forearm stretch here. And then you flip the fingertips to the floor so you can take it in the other side. Relax the shoulders a little. Clasp your hands, do some figure eights, moving through your wrist a little bit more. Hands come down, bring your right leg up. If it works, you're gonna cross it over. One more little leg stretch. Add your twist here. Now, if you don't wanna cross your legs, you can keep your feet next to each other. Add your twist without crossing the legs. Turn your head and look. Bring it back to the front. So if your right leg is over, set it down. Other side, if you want it, you would cross but you could also keep your feet next to each other as you take the twist. Bring it back to the front. It's your cow cat one more time. Feet are comfortable on the floor. Move all the way through your spine. Sit up tall. Here are your inhales. You take a big inhale, reach up. Let everything move, get that long stretch. Do that two more times, reach up, big inhale. Breathe into your lungs, exhale, blow it out. One more time, big reach up, inhale. Blow it out, exhale. And thank you all very much.